Sunday St. Paul's and welcome to this week's virtual Sunday school. So we are still in the season after Pentecost and a lot of times this is known as the ordinary time and that refers to the ordinal or counted part of the season. So we count the weeks of this longest season as well as we talk about ordinary things like taxes. So in Jesus's time, his government and the religion were so linkly close together. So they were really, really intertwined. And Jewish people were concerned about living in a worshipful and holy manner, but they were at odds with the Roman Empire and the Roman government over many things. So including the Romans belief that emperors were gods. And so the Pharisees who were committed to God's law and the Herodians who were fiercely loyal to King Herod, they came to trap Jesus publicly. And so they were not really interested in asking Jesus about taxes. They really wanted to see which set of laws, the Jewish religious laws or the Roman tax laws, Jesus would say were the most important. And so Jesus goes beyond their trap, making his divine authority clear that we are to give God things that are God's. So I want you guys to find a comfy spot and settle in and I will see you there. St. Paul's. I hope you guys found a comfy spot for our story today. So our story comes from the Gospel of Matthew and it's in chapter 22 verses 15 through 22. And this is called the middle of the riddle. So settle in and let's hear our story today. The Pharisees loved the religious rules. They studied Jewish law and wanted to be important leaders. They were always looking for people who broke the rules, but the crowd wasn't paying attention to them. Everyone is listening to Jesus instead of us. They grumbled. How can we show the crowd that they shouldn't listen to Jesus? They decided to create a trap, asking Jesus a tricky riddle that would get him in trouble. Say Jesus, the Pharisees started. The emperor says we should give money to him. Other people say that's not what God wants. Who is in the right? The emperor or God? If Jesus said the emperor, the people would think he wasn't following God. If Jesus said God, he would go to jail for disobeying the emperor. Jesus picked up a shiny coin. Look, he said, this has a picture on it. Who is that? He held up the coin. The emperor, the Pharisees answered, that was an easy question. Then the emperor can have this coin, Jesus replied, trapped. Jesus loved the emperor more than God. But wait, Jesus added, there is more, this is more important, whose image is on you? The Pharisees were stumped. If people are made in God's image, then everyone belongs to God. So I want you guys to head over to our next slide and see our craft. And I want you to think a little bit about that story. Whose image is on you? And I'll see you soon. Hi, first and second grade. Welcome to our question part of our Sunday school. I hope you enjoyed your craft today. Now in our story today, we heard about the Pharisees and Jesus and these taxes. So who are the Pharisees and what do they do? And what was the riddle in our story today? And how do you think Jesus felt about being in a tricky situation? I mean, normally I don't like to be in a tricky situation, so I wonder how he felt. And then whose image are we made in? And whose image is on you? I want you to think about those questions and talk about it with your family. Hi, first and second grade, welcome back for Bible Bit. So in today's story, it was all about giving money to the emperor, which is referring to paying taxes. And Jesus was fam famous for having tax collector friends. So I want you to check out Matthew chapter 11, verse 19. Well, St. Paul's, thank you for a wonderful virtual Sunday school again. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay well, and I will see you soon. Bye.